Welcome to your daily fasting devotional. My name is Joe and I'm your host for today. Today we're going to answer the question, why are we fasting? Um, the number one reason why we fast is to learn to resist the devil. James chapter 4 verse 7 tells us to resist the devil and he will flee. So fasting will teach you how to resist and ultimately say no to sin, to say no to temptation. There was a season in my life when I couldn't resist sin. I couldn't say no. I was always saying yes. I would go to church and I'd be fine at church, but when I'd get home alone, I, I didn't have the ability to say no. And so I'd always fall into these traps and backslide. This went on for, for a long, long time at the beginning of my walk with God. And the Holy Spirit prompted me to enter into a fast. And I did this for several weeks. I was in a full fast and I really felt delivered. I really felt a breakthrough. I, I really felt a freedom that I'd never experienced before in my life. And when I got through that fast is when I got really strong and was able to say no, was able to resist not only food, but sin in general. And so fasting is going to help equip us with a strong no, a strong resistance. And we see an example here in the Bible uh, through Jesus when he was led up by the Spirit in Matthew chapter 4. The Bible tells us that Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And with this leading in verse 2, it tells us that for 40 days and for 40 nights that Jesus fasted. So Jesus was led up to face the devil by the Spirit, but Jesus was not going to face him, uh, you know, eating. He wanted to face him completely empty, completely fasted. And in verse 3, the Bible says that during that time when Jesus was fasting, that the devil came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become loaves of bread. So what does he do? He's tempting Jesus with food. And Jesus responds to him in verse 4, he told him a strong no. The scriptures say, and then he corrects the devil, he says, The scriptures say, people do not live by bread alone or by food alone, but we live by every word that comes from the mouth of God. And the devil came to him two more times during this, this time in the wilderness, and in, in both instances, Jesus emphatically said no and corrected the devil. And, and the only reason he was able to do that was because he had been fasting. And in verse 10, Jesus tells the devil to get out of here, for the scriptures say, you must worship the Lord your God and serve him only. And then the Bible says the devil went away and the angels came and they took care of Jesus. So Jesus gave us this great example to defeat the devil, to resist the devil. You have to do it through a fast. Who would have thought that your breakthrough, your deliverance, your freedom, your liberty would come through defeating not defeating or resisting food who would have thought that you could learn to resist the, uh, the devil by learning to resist food you know people in our society we want fast answers we want fast deliverance we want to go maybe to an altar and somebody pray over us and we get free you know we're looking for microwave solutions we want fast food but we don't want to fast food. Is there, let me tell you, there are some things in your life, there are certain demons, and Jesus even spoke about this in Matthew 17, that there are certain kinds of demons that can only come out through prayer and fasting, okay? There are certain challenges that you face in life, certain obstacles, uh, uh, certain strongholds, that you're not gonna get freedom through any other way but through fasting. If you can say no to food, 
you can say no to the devil. But if you can't say no to food, how are you ever going to say no to the devil? Start with breakfast, just fast breakfast, and then move on to lunch or however the Lord leads you. But you have to create these opportunities for you to say no, because if we don't have the power to resist, we don't have any power at all. Your breakthrough is coming through fasting. Your deliverance is coming through fasting. Your resistance is coming through fasting. That is the way, that is the key for today. So God bless you. Thank you for allowing me to share today. And we look forward to seeing you tomorrow on your fasting devotional. God bless.